so what's the first thing that a company should do when it's developing a mobile app? What's the mindset that they should be in? Well, I think you, you need to think through all of your mobile use cases. So with, with Mint, it's a, a tool to see all of your finances together in one place, set a budget, keep on track and on top of your finances, um, gives you bill reminders and whatnot. And when you're spending, you're typically, unless you're buying something off Amazon, not at your computer. And so it's the perfect use case of, I want to know what my balances are on the go. I want to be able to, to know if I can pick up dinner you know, for friends or whether I have the budget to do that mm -hmm. or not. And so you have to think through the, the mobile use cases first and foremost. It always starts with the customer. Right. What types of data points should influence mobile development? Well, what we did on Mint is because we started out as a web application, we looked at the things that people were doing most and we sort of rank ordered them. So number one was I want to get an overview of my finances, all the balances across my credit cards and um, uh, checking accounts and savings and whatnot. Uh, number two was I want to look at my transactions. I want to see what's, what I've actually purchased um, and make sure there's no fraud in there, make sure that uh, the, the wife hasn't purchased anything too big uh, without me knowing it. Uh, view my budgets, uh, add another account um, or delete an account or, or hide an account. Um, again, hiding from the spouse or because it's a business account and you don't sure. want it mixed in with your, sure. you know, your personal budget. And so we rank ordered all of these tasks and we said, all right, well, we're going to knock off the first two of them in uh, version one. Mm -hmm. So version one was a read-only version, just your balances and uh, view your budget. Mm -hmm. And then next we said, all right, well, that's great, but people on the web have much more power. They can recategorize things, reclassify things, add notes to transactions. It was a much more bi-directional experience, so that was number two. Number three was we used to make you go to the web to, uh, to sign up and add all of your accounts because it's a fairly complicated experience. You search from among 15,000 banks. Things can go wrong. You can have the wrong password. There are a lot of different error codes that can, can occur. But we added that into the mobile experience. So you literally never have to go to the web at all. So it's a fully contained mobile experience. And then once you've nailed, I think, the basics, if you were translating from a web app to a mobile app, you want to do the things that you can't possibly do on uh, a web app or on a desktop app. So those would be for Mint, the things that we're working on right now, like um, OCR of uh, receipts. Um, okay. So you can just take a picture of uh, a receipt or something that you spent cash on, and it just enters it as a transaction. Sure. You've got a record of it. Uh, it's, it's quick and easy, and you need something with a sensor, like an iPhone or an mm -hmm. Android device, to do that um, quickly. The other thing you can do is location-based, of course. Um, and so uh, we don't have any concept of checking in or anything like that, but when you spend cash uh, on, on Mint, it's often untracked. We'll see your ATM transaction, we see everything you do on a debit or a credit card, but we don't see the cash that you spent. And it's kind of a hassle to go remember it and go online and you can enter it in, but it'd be better if you could do it right when you were hopping out of the taxi or right when you were uh, buying your, your coffee at Starbucks. Sure. And so instead of making you enter the amount, the merchant, the category, all that, it's a, it's a bit heavyweight. We say, all right, based on your location, you're probably at one of these four stores that's mm -hmm. within a 100 meter uh, distance. Um, you click on one, it fills in the name, the category, the address, anything else that you want. All you have to do is type the, the two numbers for the, the cost, okay. and you're done. So it simplifies the process, makes it really quick and easy in a way that you can't possibly do on the web. So that's the, uh, the spectrum. Mm -hmm web app to read-only information uh, about what was on the web to bi-directional, you can edit and change things to you can do the whole experience on the mobile and then what are the things that you can only do uh, on the mobile device. I see. Now, should web apps, or I'm sorry, should mobile applications, should they, they strive for a scaled down experience, less features, or do the features need to be recharacterized for efficient use in a mobile environment? Well, you need to rethink everything when you're doing mobile. It's not necessarily a scaled down version. It's, uh, it's the essentials and mm -hmm. um, how to perform the tasks as quickly as possible mm -hmm. in a possibly bandwidth limited environment. And when you're on the go and maybe only have 10 seconds before you get off the elevator or the escalator or before you're, you're next up in line. Um, so it's, it's optimized for, for speed. That could mean a scaled down experience. We don't have uh, all the deep investment analysis or goal setting or you know, retirement calculators on, on the mobile app, but you probably would want to do that on the mobile phone anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's optimized for the things that, that do matter. Okay. So last question I had for you. 
Do you think that companies should develop both native apps and web apps? Is that the best approach to make sure that they're sort of future-proof, I guess? Uh, I would say so. Um, the, it's always a trade-off, though. You need a, 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 quite a, a different skill set when you're developing for, for iPhone you know, with, uh, with Coco and Objective-C uh, versus uh, web apps where you're going to do HTML5 and JavaScript. And so it, it often takes a, a different set of developers um, but the same set of product managers who are thinking through how you would do uh, the mobile use cases. Okay. Well, thank you very much for being with us. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me.